A little cool this morning. Temperatures in the low to mid 30s for most of the Omaha Metro. 29 in Louisville. Temperatures actually near the 40 degree mark near the Kansas and Missouri borders. We had this weak front come through overnight, turned the winds around to the northeast. That's letting the cooler air come in for now. You can see a few clouds coming across Nebraska and South Dakota, but no moisture underneath these clouds. That front slowly lifts back to the north later this afternoon and look at temperatures. We get into the 60s once again in Omaha, south of I-80. Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s and yeah, 70 degrees is possible toward Beatrice, Falls City, maybe even Nebraska City. Mid to upper 50s north of the front, north of Interstate 80 in western Iowa. We're jumping ahead 10 o'clock tonight. All we're going to see today is a few high thin clouds. More clouds later this evening. After midnight, you can see the showers and even a couple thunder showers possible. You're going to need the umbrella tomorrow for a lot of uh, eastern Nebraska and western Iowa. The pink to our north, a wintry mix, mainly rain, sleet, and snow. Very little in the way of icy accumulations to our north. But for a lot of us, for Omaha, for Lincoln, just a wind-driven cold rain throughout most of Friday. But then tomorrow evening, look what happens. We have the colder air wrapping in, and we could get a quick burst of slushy snow mixing with rain late on Friday evening. So if you're planning on going somewhere to watch the Creighton game tomorrow, we could have... Maybe a dusting of slush on the roads. Most of the accumulating snow stays to our north tomorrow. But look what happens going into early next week. Another chance on Monday of rain changing to snow. And we're going to see a ton of rain out of this. We potentially, in the purple, this is through Tuesday, mind you, or through late Monday. Locally, we could see up to an inch and a half, maybe two inches of rain out of this. So a good soaking at the very least, but a big drop in temperatures. And remember, tomorrow, very windy. 42 degrees for a high, drying out 44 on St. Patrick's Day into the upper 50s. Not bad on Sunday, but then that next round of moisture coming in on Monday with temperatures back into the 30s by Tuesday.